I raised three very special needs children, so after I got out of the toll booth so I didn't die from carbon monoxide poisoning because I had migraine headaches, the doctor said, do what you love. And I thought about it and it didn't take much to steer me in the direction of an education. And I ended up in ESE and I was working with Profound for almost a decade at Deland High for any of you that recognize me. And I love those kids because we take them out in the community and teach them. And suddenly in the middle of the year, our governor had a change of heart and everybody started getting switched around and we didn't know what was going on. And I ended up over in Forest Lake Elementary and that's not against Forest Lake, it was the EBD class they put me in. And I said, what are those initials? Because I was in multi and EBD is a very, they're bizarre kind of behavior patterns that they have and they're very, very destructive and angry children and they're babies. So one day I get into the classroom and I'm gonna meet my kitties and have a little boy come up and look at me and say, old woman, hi. I went, oh Lord have mercy. So I said, and your name is Gabriel and I'm no angel. I thought, I'm in trouble. So Gabriel would tip over tables and break computers and threaten me with scissors, heart be still. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. So one day he came in and he was breaking everything up before I could stop him. And I said, we're going for a walk. Yeah. And I took him outside and the dandelions had turned to puffs. And I just said, oh, look at those beautiful flowers, all those wishes. And he said, those are weeds. I thought I was making headway. So as I realized, I thought that really quick, I said, God, give me something for this little boy. And I ended up literally getting down on my knee, doing one of these, and now I was as big as he was. I looked him right in his eyes and I said, they're wishes, we can make a wish. When I said that, something clicked. He threw his arms around me. I was afraid I was gonna get choked, but he literally was hugging me for dear life. Going home that day, I told him, I said, you know, I kept talking to my phone, anybody talk to Sorry, whatever her name is. And I said, okay, I'm ready to record. She wasn't answering me. So I sat there trying to write. I was the car you didn't want to be behind. And as I'm writing, it, every now and then, musicians are blessed with songs that write themselves. This song wrote itself. And when I got home, I gave him the poem. My husband puts it to music and I started sharing it with teachers everywhere because we can all make a difference. So it's master teacher. And it goes like this. Celebrate yourself, live in the here and now. Connecting with the joy and peace while you discover how. Be quick to forgive the ones who might have caused you pain. Who might have caused you pain at your part. So you can pay it forward. This creates the chain. Share yourself with others. Be a beacon full of light. Letting go of turmoil, anger, hurts, and strife. Always looking for the goodness and the kindness you can share. All the kindness you can share creates a balance in your life that simply was not there. We can all be teachers who empower others' lives, who empower others' lives. Changes in your attitude, seeking love is only right. Seeking love is only right. So be the master teacher, not the thief who steals the night. Faith can be the stepping stone each time that you connect. Helping those who stumbled and haven't found peace yet. Seeking love in everything that you think and say and do. Everything you say and do shows the master teacher lives inside of me and you. Grow up your maturity, share the purest parts, seeking all the love you can in other people's hearts. Seek to understand and let understanding heal your soul. Understanding heal your soul. 
and watch the master teacher in yourselves abundantly unfold. You know it now. We can all be teachers who empower others' lives, who empower others' lives. Changes in your attitude, seeking love is only right, seeking love is only right. So be the master teacher, not the thief who steals the night. Be the master teacher, not the thief who steals the night. We can all be master teachers one child at a time. Thank you.